This is Panama in Central America. Home of the famous Panama Canal. A shipping corridor which connects the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean. And home to a small but growing Muslim community. Ray Henry works on the Panama Canal. Transit North 7, uh, checking radio, good afternoon. He is a member of the Muslim community here and has been chosen by that community to undertake the Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca. With great anticipation, Ray is now waiting for his visa to come through on time. I'm worried because he has so much illusion with that de hacer su peregrinación, aunque él no la había planeado originalmente para hacerle de una vez, así pero fue una sorpresa cuando le dieron que había sido escogido. Así que estamos tenemos toda la ilusión de que sí va a ir, pues. As you can see, my bags are out. Ready. Ya empezó a medirse cómo se tiene que ponerle Una, un, es como una tela dándose la vuelta acá. Mandó a comprar una carterita para la cintura para poner los documentos ahí. Everything was thought about. Out for my for my belongings, which also serves as a belt. So, chances of her falling off will be very, very slight. Eh, la junta directiva eh, eligió al señor Ray Henry o, para ser eh, el postulado de parte del Centro Cultural Islámico a la peregrinación eh, en este año. Eh, porque cumple ciertos requisitos que la Junta Directiva se fije se fija en ellos. My name is Ray Henry. I'm a native of Panama. Most importantly, I'm a Muslim. Goodbye. Marhaban. Hello. Kalbu Sahir. Small dog. Ahmaru. Yellow. Ahmaru. Red. I got it wrong. Well, I started taking uh, informal classes about a year ago, but the teacher left for uh, the Middle East, and I've been trying to do it on my own. And I got this book and been practicing, but like I say, the books and conversation so much different and you have to tune your ears and a lot of times words sound alike and they're not so and I don't really have anybody to practice with except a computer. Are you a doctor? La. Here we are in 7th Street, Central Colon. The city I grew up in, well, partly grew up in. Cologne is one of the second most, uh, well, it, it is the second most important city in Panama. The Atlantic terminal of the canal, and as such, it uh, enjoys a very privileged uh, situation. Most perfectly designed city in the world. Basically a square, 16 streets and avenues, and it's almost impossible to get lost.
the idea of Islam did appeal at some point, but it was tainted by overtures of racism from the um, current that I received. And a lot of negative media uh, input. But I did get started reading pamphlets on the life of the Prophet, peace and blessings be on him, and seeing how much of an extraordinary person he was. And I guess about four years ago, in a large meeting uh, with a Muslim brother, and I started asking. Muslims about the religion. And I came to understand the true meaning of Islam. And I think about three months after that, I took Shahada. Historicamente, in Panama, nunca se ha querido hacer una historia de los musulmanes en esta área. ¿Por qué? Porque Panamá era parte de la colonia española. Y si nosotros nos remontamos al periodo de la Inquisición, cuando mataron a los musulmanes y los obligaron a cambiar sus nombres, el Islam en esta parte del mundo, en la América Latina, era un tabú. Pero, históricamente, los primeros musulmanes que llegaron aquí en Panamá vinieron del África. Eh, en, si es de origen árabe es la que habita prácticamente en Colón y hay en las, en las uh, provincias del interior hay uh, mezcla de gente que son al fin y al cabo son musulmanes no se fijan y en los 50 comenzaron a traer mujeres de sus lugares para casarse de, en los años 70 había un grupo de panameños ¿no? que fueron influenciados por Elijah Muhammad en los Estados Unidos, ¿no? el movimiento negro de los Estados Unidos y los musulmanes negros de Estados Unidos, en la cual el Malcolm X era parte. ¿no? La primera mezquita que se construyó en la América Central fue construida aquí en Panamá y le fue inaugurado en enero de 1982. Y de allá ahora tenemos 10 mezquitas en la República de Panamá. Panamá tiene nueve provincias, pero tiene 10 mezquitas. Cuando él abrazó el Islam me sentía un poquito como incómoda, porque yo lo veía y decía, pero ¿cómo de repente ahora él se va a volver religioso? Y entonces se vuelve religioso y es más religioso que yo misma. Y hace cosas que, no, que me inquietaban, pues me preocupaban, porque nunca se había comportado de esa manera. Él tuvo un cambio tan grande en su conducta que yo lo observaba y me quedaba mirando, ¿será verdad? ¿O me estará echando un cuento? ¿O es verdad que cambió? Pero, oh, qué bien, el cambio ha sido increíble y ha sido un giro completo que dio. Él es uno de los que yo veo que por su sinceridad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala le va a dar todas las direcciones, directrices que él quiere para que él pueda ser uno de, los, de las personas que entre en el paraíso en el día de juicio. Y si es para él ir a Maca, él irá a Maca y encontrará, él encontrará en la ciudad de Maca la, la casa de Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala una paz y una espiritualidad que nunca lo encontraría en ninguna otra parte del mundo. I don't get excited. I don't really get excited when I see the Buddha. I yearn to go there, but yeah, I find myself getting a little more emotional now that I'm older. I never cried. I wasn't the type of person who cried, but now. I, Silliness uh, had me up, uh, <laughs> welling up with tears. Uh, go to the movies and, and certain scenes get you. That's age. <laughs> That's the age of pastors. But God will not be here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Inshallah. Ya 
back, keep locking up this place like you're in jail. Keep locking up the place like you're in jail. So all over. Everything is in God's hand, not in man's. And it's something that he apparently would like to, because he's the type of person, you know, for me he was small, he was that kind of person that always, is always inquisitive about things. He never accepts what we tell him, because he has a family, he's always asking why, and why, and you know. Listen, I tell you about your tongue. It is a dangerous tool. Be careful of what you say. You don't understand. Okay. You, you plan to go and stay? Mm. Again, I tell you, that depends on the Lord. You just said no one knows the time, the place. Oh, okay. But then you make so, what you said you may. That's why I make sure. You know? why so, I why should sure. you be negative? I'm not being negative. You mom. have to be positive in everything you do. What's negative about that? You listen to your, you know English, right? You listen to your statement? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I might not come back. Okay. Well, that's not, there's not negative about that. It's oh, just well. A statement. Well, I put everything in Lord's hand. Yeah. So, and there's yeah, nothing I'm else I can do but just pray, right? Can you leave the camera here? <laughs> <laughs> Those great things with my mom's memory. Yeah, remember I came out of it?